Hey everyone, this is Steve from OpenBOM, and I'd like to give you a preview of some functionality we're working on. It's so a sort of a behind the scenes look at the support for weldments. It's one of the more frequently requested items, and uh, I'm using SolidWorks here as an example. <clears throat> you can see in SolidWorks I've got a weldment defined. I've got a couple other pieces, some sheet metal and machine parts. Uh, those are for testing, so just ignore those for now. But Here's my SOLIDWORKS weldment. This is going to look familiar to anyone who is familiar with weldments. Uh, here's my material, uh, cross-section, and all the individual pieces which we would uh, typically refer to as the cut list. And here are the operations that go into those, and here's some other secondary pieces of uh, corner gussets and things like that. So this is the familiar sort of weldment structure inside SOLIDWORKS. I, I think it's, it's similar in other CAD systems as well. So let's create a uh, bill of material. I have set my uh, bomb type to multi-level because as you can imagine, this is going to be a multi-level bomb. And let's create a bill of material. Again, this is a preliminary uh, sort of behind the scenes look. So might be a little rough. So let's take a look at our bill of material. I have to find a template to bring me the right, uh, to bring me the properties that I'm interested in. And here we go. Here is the, uh, the original weldment, and here are the individual uh, pieces based on their uh, type and description, material type and description, and their first and second angled cuts and the length, uh, the overall length, and the total length is summed up. So um, you can see as a, a an entry for each uh, item and the quantity required for that the quantity of uh, pieces to be cut. So we're just getting started with it. Would love your feedback at support at openbomb.com. Thanks.